We count on our operators to execute our schedules and plans. If you're an operator, you need clear direction. What should you be working on right now? You can use travelers, barcoding, dispatch lists to communicate that type of information, but I'd like to show you an alternative, and that is Shop Floor Mobile, Visual's web-based manufacturing execution system. Shop Floor Mobile can be accessed by any device with a browser, tablet, smartphone, or a PC like I'm using. So, operators, inspectors, engineers, as they're moving around the shop, they can have this information at their fingertips. Now let's let's take a closer look. Notice I can use this in conjunction with the Bluetooth scanner so I can continue to use barcoding if I'd like to. Allie, not yet logged in, I can use Shop Floor Mobile for clocking in and out for the day, clocking in and out of jobs, doing some self-help searching Let's clock Allie in. Allie is now in. Now she could go start a job. If I'm using scanning and travelers, I would simply start run, scan my traveler. But again, I want to show you an alternative. If Allie goes to her schedule, she'll be able to see all of the jobs in front of her in priority sequence. So I'm communicating priority to my operators and giving them a simple way to log into those jobs. Simply touch the first job and go to work on that job. When I'm done with that job, I'll move on to the next job. This one will fall off of the list when it's completed. This will move to the top of the list. There's some other information that's being clearly communicated here as well with symbols. Things like this job is currently um, has shortages of materials. It's available for work. There has been some time charged to this job. There's documents attached and I can view those here as well. Let's log Ali into this first job. We'll just say we're, she's ready to start the run on this job and yes that's the right information and now we can see that Allie is located at this job. She can now go look at instructions, look at documents that are attached. In visual documents can be of any type. Here's a video that might be easier than looking at a drawing for example or looking at instructions to understand how I'm to make this product. So Allie can view any of those but notice she can also add additional documentation. So if, if to memorialize what's happened with this job maybe a picture needs to be taken or a video that uh, can be uploaded and, and associated with this job. Operators can take other actions. They can go look at more details, details about the materials that are required on this job, um, even issue materials if they have proper rights to, to do that. They can issue materials into, into those jobs from this application. When an operator is finished with the job, they'll simply stop that job, give additional information about that job. For example, did I finish any? Were there any that were bad? Why? Uh, and any other comment that might be useful, again, for memorializing what's happened. Shoffler Mobile clearly communicates priorities to the operator. Select the first job, start and stop jobs from here, view instructions, documents, drawings, and more. However, Shop Floor Mobile can be used for many more purposes. We'll touch on a few of those. It can be used for processing material transactions, for receiving goods from my purchase orders or shipping to my customers, for processing cycle counts or physical counts. Um, this also can be used from a foreman's standpoint. So here I'm a foreman that has all of these resources under my uh, supervision. 
I might want to go look closer at one of those operations or one of those resources. So here in Cutoff Saw, I can see that Ron is currently logged in and working at the Cutoff Saw. But I can see some other information, how much work is ahead of that particular work center. If I want to see the details, I drill in. Now I can see all of the jobs that are lined up for this particular work center. Well, this symbology, these, these signals, these flags, again, are telling me something. That red clipboard tells me that there is required material that is not available. If I look down this list, there's three jobs that does not have the material that's required yet. Well, while I'm looking into where is that material and when will we have it, I noticed that this fourth job does have the material that it needs. So while I'm looking at those other, uh, into the, the material for those other jobs, I'm going to grab this job. Remember, I'm a foreman. I have the, the security rights to do this. And I'm going to bring that right to the top of the list. So now when my operators log in, they'll see that this is the job that they need to be working on first while I'm resolving this material issue. Let's talk a bit about resolving that material issue. So, um, let's go look at the material required for this job. Here's the material. Maybe I only want to see short materials. This happens to be the only material. It's a purchased item. I can drill into things like, do I have some in a different location? Do I have any coming? When are they coming? Who are they coming from? Who's the buyer? So that I can drill into that, infor into that information and make decisions from there. So shop floor mobile is used for more than just shop floor execution or manufacturing execution. It also can be used uh, for material purposes and more. Once again, access this from any device that has a browser being web-based, any device having a browser, smartphone, tablet, or PC like I'm using. 